Hi guys, um, I'm just here really this time just to read out a, a few quotes that I see um, that are really relevant for somebody like me who's in a relationship with somebody with BPD um, and struggles to, to deal with you know, being lonely. Um, but I know it's obviously something that's not going to change overnight and the way that I deal with it is by reading quotes, reading them out aloud, saving them and when I'm having a bad day going back to them but likewise also not just picking out the negative but also picking out the positive so I just wanted to go through and highlight a few bits from how I feel most days um, being in a relationship with somebody with BPD um, then I've also got a few quotes from um, how she must be feeling um, on a day-to-day -day basis dealing with this and then I've got one that's a bit more of a, of, a, of a positive side so I don't want to bore you with too many but um, it's quite difficult at the minute I'm not um, you have good days you have bad days but at the minute it seems to be a lot of bad days so doing this video is going to help me just to relieve a bit of a uh, bit of stress about it We'll go from there. So, for example, one quote that caught my eye today was, uh, you have no idea how odd it is to force um, myself to stop thinking about you sometimes. As I do, I think about her all the time, and that's not healthy for me because then I want to text her all the time. I don't get a reply. If I call, she doesn't answer. That's hard. Um then I get, then this one's really true powerful right now. Why can't you just tell me what you feel because how you act is confusing me? Um, now I, I get it. I read um, books every night. I watch videos every day. And I know that this is part of the condition. I get it. But I have feelings too. And I'm allowed to have off days and days where... I don't want to understand it. Uh, I want to just have a normal relationship. Today I'm having one of those days. So reading things like this helps helps me to get over it a little bit. Um, another one is which is really good. Um, I want to be with you. It's as simple as that. And as complicated as that. So... Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, I'm dealing with. Um, but then, on the flip side of that, there's there's some other things that I like. Um, you can't just give up on someone because the situation is not ideal. Great relationships aren't great because they have no problems. They're great because both people care enough about the other person to find a way to make it work. Now, I know if she didn't want to be with me, she wouldn't be with me. But it doesn't mean that it's easy to deal with because um, she doesn't tell me that I'm just guessing unless she's just too lazy to say do you know what I've got to do one um, but I know her she's a very strong character if she really didn't want to be with me she'd have just said that but then being with her and not seeing her a lot does make me question whether or not she wants me but hard um, if I just move on to just a couple of quotes about how she must be feeling um, that kind of helps me to understand I think what she's going through um, for example some people are afraid of allowing themselves to be happy because they think there is a negative often tragic events that will happen um, as a trade-off um, you know, that's known as terophobia. I think that's quite true, um, for probably how she's feeling. But, like, for example, monsters don't sleep under your bed. They sleep inside your head. It's okay. I knew you'd leave anyway. Everyone does. And I know that's how she must be feeling. And that, so then when I have my bad days and I um, add my own quotes that I find 
and then move on to how she must be feeling. It makes me then really understand how she, how she must be feeling and that I need to just put my feelings aside sometimes and be there for her. Um, for example, silence is the girl is a girl's loudest cry. You know she's really hurt when she starts ignoring you. Um, that kind of happens all the time. So yeah, I've struggled with that. Um, the last one I've I've got is just a couple of things here that then I put because I love her. And I put one of these quotes is, I will wait for you because honestly, I don't want anyone else. Um, loving someone you don't see every day is not a bad thing. It's just a proof that love is not in the sight, but in the heart. Um, <laughs> I've never been so scared of losing something in my life. Then again, nothing in my life has ever meant so much as you do to me. Again, very true of how I feel about her. Um, again, another one is, I dream of growing old with you. I dream of spending every single beautiful day together with you for the rest of my life. Um, something as simple as, you're perfect to me. It's just, it just reminds me that She's she's what she's worth waiting for. I know she is. Um, the last one I'll I'll mention is everybody has an addiction. Mine just happens to be you, and it that is very true for for how I feel about her. Um, I suppose the only good thing I've got at the moment is I know that she has a, a counselling date. So this is the beginning of. Hopefully, her uh, getting better and sometimes seeking advice and for help is the hardest bit. Um, but but now we we have a date in mind, and we know that this is going to be the start of hopefully better things to come. And we we know it's a long journey, and you have to start somewhere. So again, just wanted to share some quotes with you that I read and look at on a daily basis just to help me get out of my negative side for me to put myself then in her shoes and then to make me rem remember actually why I'm with her and to help me come full circle so I don't then have a bad day and I can go over it so as always do comment let me know your stories um, or any good links to watch and I'll speak to you soon